heck of a football game. Obviously, we were a point short. Um, I'm proud of the effort of the kids. Um, obviously, we made way too many mistakes on defense. Couldn't tackle. Ball got behind us um, several times. Uh, not a not a very good defensive performance. Obviously, I was proud of KJ Jefferson. The offense they kept answering the call. Basically, the difference in the game is, you know, we put the ball on the ground once and missed a field goal, and they didn't. And uh, of course, obviously, we didn't convert on two point. But I'm proud of our kids. I'm, I'm, uh, I like the grit and the fight that um, they had offensively uh, coming back. Uh, to score there at the end of the game. And and I had told them on that last drive, if we score with little to no time left on the clock, that we're going to go for two and make it. And we I, I love the play call. We had a three three options there and on the play, and uh, we just didn't convert it. So with that, I'll be happy to ask, answer your questions. Tom, get us going. Sam, you covered a lot of it right there, but just um, – why do you think Ole Miss had such a, a big offensive day? I, I really don't know. I, you know, a bunch of it was early time we didn't tackle. You know, we, we any open field tackle, we, we couldn't get a guy on the ground. And, and that included Corral, you know. Uh, uh, we, 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 that was by far our poorest day tackling. And then when we had some uh, busts in the secondary and guys – uh, were wide open, and then we couldn't, you know, we couldn't fill the gap from the safety area uh, on a simple little stretch play. And uh, so I don't, I'm not, I'm not positive why. Uh, I thought we had a really good, you know, physical week of practice. We went good on good a lot. Um, but the bottom line is we had too many mistakes defensively, and, and uh, we couldn't tackle. Did you speak to KJ's play overall? And then the touchdown pass with one second left, how, you know, how clutch that was for him in your offense? Yeah, I mean, you know, he, I thought he overthrew it, to be honest with you, when it was in the air and then went up and, and, and caught it. And, and uh, I mean, that was a great drive, uh, you know, to go down. Uh, we had the six seconds on the clock and then, and then ended up with one. But, um it was really a well executed two minute drive by the offense and and uh, you know I wish the results were different, but I think I'd do it probably hundred percent of the time in the situation that we were in. I old men were just scoring I mean we were too, but they were scoring easily, you know, and and uh, we had to work for a little bit of ours, but they were theirs were coming whenever, you know, in bunches and a bunch of yards. So I thought that's what it, what I wanted to do, and we just didn't convert it. But I, I was very proud of KJ. He, he's a competitive son of a gun, ran the ball well, and and threw it. Trey Biddy. Yeah, hey, coach. Yeah, coach. I, was I was curious, curious about, about the that. curious about the last uh, play, the two point call. Uh, what what were you trying to get going there? And uh, uh, obviously, it went to Burks. Originally, you have a a, a pitch, you know, so. It, you, you have a pitch and then you have a route and then you have option of the quarterback to keep the ball, you know, and, and uh, I liked the play. I liked it all week. Um, our offense was um, ready for it. And basically, um, you know, we felt like the pitch was there. Uh, I don't know if it was or not. I had to go back and look at the tape where we thought we could score just pitching the ball out there. And, and, uh, you know, the end, our read did not go out. So he came straight up the field and got in our face a little bit, probably. You know, I don't know. I had to look at it and see if we should have pitched the ball or not on that. But it was just a three option uh, loaded uh, front off offensively and weren't able to execute it. And what did you say to the team after the game? Um, so much before that last play, but what do you say well, when it comes I mean, down to something like that? Anytime you you know you have one way or the other, you know you're always concerned about team morale. You know when one team one side does so well and the other doesn't. 
but we made mistakes on offense too. You know, we put the ball on the ground, we missed a field goal on a, uh, you know, on special teams. And there's a lot of reasons why you win or lose games. But I just told them, man, we got to stay together. I mean, we got Auburn coming into town. We haven't lost a game at home. Um, you know, that would be a really nice goal for us. We still are uh, uh, have a lot to play for this year. And, and, uh, I just said we have to stay together. Well, obviously, we've got not pointed out that you know we didn't tackle well and and uh, had some blown coverages and things of that nature. And uh, just pointed out that we don't want to uh, point fingers. We want to stay a team, and I'm sure we will. And you know, obviously, we have a good Auburn team next week. So I told them, we, you know, we just got to get back home and work hard and get better. Let me know if you've got questions in the chat, Hutch. Coach, I think there were only 36 seconds left there at the end of the half. Uh, you had all your timeouts. What was the mindset for that drive? And it looked like you considered going for the field goal before the Hail Mary. Could you walk us through that decision? Well, it's a mindset that goes through any two minutes with with uh, with not many not much time. You you start with where are you? You know, which I believe was on the 25, and then you know you go okay. Well, we're seven seven down and. Let's let's run the ball and see see if we can you know make some yards rushing the football and if we can then you know we'll we'll uh, go into two minute mode. Um, the kick there was wind a little bit of wind in our face and I was going to uh, have him kick that, which would have been a 57, 58 yarder, but when they put a guy back there to return it, uh, there was a little bit more wind than what. Uh, I wanted it. I, I think he's probably more comfortable around 52, 53, I think today was, but the wind kicked up. So it might've been closer to 50 that direction. But if they wouldn't have put a guy back there, I would have went ahead and kicked it. But since they did, I was nervous that we wouldn't, you know, have the let, you know, if we missed it, that they'd have an opportunity to return it with not a whole lot of of uh, small skill, you know, uh, skill on the field. So that's what I decided to do, call timeout and, and throw the Hail Mary, which, you know, had an opportunity to score as well. And Rocket, he'd shown some flashes uh, leading up to this game. He had 139. What did you think of his performance today? They ran tough. You know, they stood him up. They stripped the ball from him there on our sideline, uh, which, you know, he hasn't done a whole lot. He's been, you know, he's protected the ball well. And uh, uh, other than that, I thought he was really tough. You know, he's getting better. Um, he's a guy everybody in the room can count on. And, and uh, you know, he averaged nine yards, a little over nine yards a carry. And just a tough young kid that's going to be a really, really good player for us and put it out on the line. And, and uh, you know, just because you lose a game doesn't mean that there's not some players that, like you are mentioning him, that, didn't have a heck of a game and didn't, you know, uh, the effort was outstanding. You know, just because you lose a game doesn't mean that you didn't play hard. You know, sometimes you make mistakes because you can't tackle and you can't cover. And that's basically what happened today. Trey Shap. Coach, you guys stopped them on that fourth, I believe it was one, maybe two yep. there in the third quarter. And, mm -hmm. and you guys went down the field and had to settle for the field goal there. What happened on that drive? Well, they stopped us on third down and we kicked a field goal. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know every play of the game. There was 93 plays. Uh, I, all I know is, is that I think we tried to throw it maybe early. Uh, I remember talking to uh, the guys about, hey, they can't stop us running the football. And I believe we threw it on first down and we may have thrown it two out of the three and ended up short. And and I know it was like third and four or five or something like, I mean, fourth and four or five, and it was just too far to try to go for it. And I knew we'd, we'd tie the game up. I was, you know, obviously like you are and everybody else disappointed that we didn't convert right there and score a touchdown, but at least we tied it up and we'd had a lot more momentum, obviously, if we'd have scored, but I believe we threw it on that first play and we, you know, we were running the ball kind of at will. Alyssa. 
Coach, this is the most we've seen of Trey Knox this year. Just his contribution in the game and getting him more involved in the game plan. What'd you like today? Well, I think, you know, with Trey, our, our, our feeling was that he was going to go in an alternate series. He was going to be in the second series. And and um, and that's what happened. You know, he's alternating. Now, he got bummed up, bummed up a little bit with the uh, ankle. Uh, but other than that, um, uh, he's earned the right to play, and I think he'll help us, you know, there. And he, I think he helped us today, and and we've got to gain a little bit more weight with him. And uh, he'll be a uh, – he's a very willing blocker, very knowledgeable, re really, really smart guy. And uh, so I think he'll help us there, and I think he'll be one of the tight ends for our future as well. Yeah, Sam, I think you said, Bob, but Matt Corral, you didn't need seven turnovers a day, but one or two would have helped. What did you think of his game and how he ran the ball, took care of the ball, hit big plays? he played great. I thought he played great. Um, you know, he, he, no turnovers. I mean, when they got a little behind us, I mean, his throws were on the money, and he's a competitor. And, uh, you know, we couldn't get him on the ground in, in, in any time that – we had an opportunity to one-on-one -on -one to tackle him, and we couldn't. And uh, uh, so, you know, we knew we'd probably get a really good effort out of him, A, because we've seen that on on film, and then B, because of, you know, the uh, situation last year when he threw, you know, a lot of picks. Um, but he's a competitor. He's a really, really good football player. And, and uh, you know, I want to say this, too. Ole Miss got a good football team. You know, they, they – uh, we're ranked 17th for a reason, and and um, I want to congratulate them. I mean, I, I didn't say anything about that. I just started talking about what we did wrong. But they got a good football team, and a lot of it has hinges on him, on Corral. And uh, and so I want to give them credit because they, they, they scored, you know, 52 points on us, you know. And uh, so they did a nice job, but he's a great leader. You can see him, you know, you can feel his presence on the field. He's a very, very big time competitor. And then with some of the big pass plays they hit, um, you know, pump fakes, were you guys just biting on those pump fakes or eyes in the wrong spot or what do you think maybe well, happened? We were, we were busting. I mean, you know, on the wheel, uh, we had, we had a safety error, a corner error uh, on, and we, you know, they got by us uh, two or three more times just running by us. Um, uh, and then, like I say, and we've seen it on tape too, once they get behind you, you know, guys are going to put it on the money, you know, and, and that's what happened. And I think when they started really gashing us in the run game, you know, we were trying to, you know, early in the, early in the half, the first half, I felt like they, they blocked so well on the perimeter. And uh, we were trying to get our corners and our safeties involved in the run game, and and uh, they must have seen it and and uh, started running behind, you know, running by us, which shouldn't happen, but it did. Thanks, Nate. Yeah, Sam. Just as far as both quarterbacks' ability to run, how much did that open things up for the running backs on on both teams? I thought a lot. Obviously, on both sides, running backs had. Big big games. They had a couple over a hundred yards, and and we had two at eight, two at eighty five, and then Rocket had one hundred forty or one hundred thirty nine. And so I think it always does, to be honest with you, Nate, when you have to you know uh, hold and hang, it freezes you on the backside a lot of times uh, for quarterback runs. That when you hand it off, uh, you know you can get some big ones because the Willie linebacker can't close the gap and that's what happened to us a few times a day and then it happened to them as well but I think that's a big big key Nate thank you Chris Hodgson hey coach I'm over in Jonesboro wanted to ask about the shots you were getting more snaps on defense this year where's he improved the most who's that Chris uh, Stewart the shot Stewart um you know he's always where does he improve the most? I, I would say uh, his uh, handling his hands in the running game. You know, he's always been a hard play kid that, you know, can rush the passer. Um, motor goes 90 miles an hour. 
but I think he's he's improved uh, his hands in the running game. He's still got to gain some weight to not get knocked around in there. But again, I think he, he's understanding leverage better this year. He's very powerful off the football and he has a relentless motor. Tom. Hey, Sam, Warren Thompson had a pretty big game too. I'm wondering maybe with Knox, if, if this could mean something for your pass catchers besides, you know, Burks and Morris. I, I hope so. You know, we we don't go into the game saying, I mean, we have packages for different guys, but we don't, you know, we don't go in the game saying we're all, you know, going to throw it to Burks, you know. And so uh, Burks gets open better whenever we have more guys on the field that can get open and make plays. And I thought with Warren being able to do that today, now that's certainly going to help our throwing game. And, and uh, you know, they made some – Burks did too, so did Warren. But they made some hard catches, you know, today and one-on-one uh, contested balls. And I thought they did a nice job. And I think this is the third game in the last four that you don't have a takeaway. Is that something that might be, start being a cause of concern? Well, sure, it is a concern. I mean, it's been a concern since, you know, the first game we – didn't have a bunch of them, you know, and and um, we work on it. You know, we work on trying to strip it and get get it out of there and, and uh, rally to the ball and we pull on it, tug on it, not try to hit it, knock it out. Um, they just did a nice job of not throwing picks and, and hanging on to it. But, yeah, certainly it's a concern. Last one, Hutch. Yes, yeah, Sam, you mentioned the missed tackles earlier. Uh, you tackled so well against Texas and early in the season, last couple of weeks, it seems like there's been more missed tackles. Do you know why that is? Can you put your finger on anything? Well, I think we're beat up a little bit more than what, you know, I think with bump, bumps and bruises and broken hands and different things of that nature, that's certainly going to play a part of it, you know. Uh, but I, to answer your question, we, have, we can tackle better. And we tackle, you know, in Indy, we tackle, and we don't tackle live bodies, uh, but we form tackle, we tackle on sleds, and we do, you know, we do that every, every Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so I'm not positive. We got to figure it out, you know, but it's really, um, it's a lot of people. It's not just one or two guys, you know, we're banging off of legs, you know, I don't, not wrapping up very well and, and uh, getting guys on the ground. So we'll adjust it after we look at film and see what the heck going on and why we why we're not tackling well. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys.